So the topics I got were music and social media and how past generations and generations now have influenced and changed how those things operate and run and like the quality of it. So like music, I think has changed tremendously from like say like the 80s, 90s to now because like back then it was more clean and I'm not saying like everything was clean clean but like it was more clean and it was kind of like more like uh, family friendly you know and so now it's more hip-hop like um, explicit a lot of songs most songs most things that are put out there are explicit like that and social media for sure has changed like in the beginning it, even though it was new everything like you know it's not, it's new it's not gonna be as big but um yeah social media has been it wasn't used that much and like it was new because the internet was new so now it's like a big thing that people need on like a daily basis and i think like because of the younger generation it's grown so much because that's how millennials use use that to like communicate more and stuff and music also because generate like younger generations have that influence because they're also either like the new artists or because like you know just to listen to it the social media how they run it you know so that's my opinion on it okay so hi hi i'm here with uh miss miley she teaches world history so how has your day been how's it going it's a long day but um I'm, it's almost done so that's nice that's good that's good so um do you listen to music i do on a daily basis what kind of um i listen to a lot of pop and um just indie relaxing music that's that's cool <laughs> <laughs> so how how do you think the music industry has changed over the years um it has changed quite a lot since um well, uh, since I was in high school, a lot of rap and hip hop was really popular, and now it's um, more pop and indie techno kind of music is more popular nowadays. So it's changed a lot, but I think it's based on people's uh, taste and what's popular for the people. Yeah. So how do you think the music has changed from the past? Well, from me, um, I really just stick to one thing. I don't really listen to the radio. Um, so um, it's changed. I just I wouldn't be able to put it into words, but it's changed quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like the styles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So compared to say like the 80s, do you think the music is the same? Or if not, how has it changed? Why do you think it's changed? Okay, so the 80s. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I can compare it with like my parents, they listen to a lot of uh, romantic music and it's like, um, let's say Vicente Fernandez and them, right? It's really romantic music and it's in Spanish, um, but it's really romantic and really traditional um, to now we listen to more music that's, for example, Logic, he's a rapper. Um, he's, he's bringing awareness, let's say, just one of his songs was about suicide. So a lot of the music has changed in ways that there are touching topics there, people are not talking about as much. Mm -hmm. So that it's changed, it's, it's topics are, and subjects are really, um, I don't have to put into words. They print it more focused, more, more of a spotlight into more right. interesting topics like that. Right, okay. So music has changed over the years. Right? Yes. So how do you think generations have had an effect on it? Like how, have been a part of the growth? Oh, well, it's been, Generations are really making a difference, especially in technology. Um, now to be like a famous musician, all you have to do is upload a video to YouTube, right. you know, upload it, um, get found and become yeah. famous from that. And you, you used to have to go into competitions or uh, singing talent shows or whatever to become any sort of famous in that. Yeah, case. you couldn't really like hide behind the screen kind of. Yeah. yeah. And now it's super easy to just upload a video into social media. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So, is the case of the generations part of the uprise and how music is produced? Um, yes, generations are changing everything a lot. Um, 
Let me see the question again. <laughs> is the cause of dehydration part of the uprising? So basically, it's kind of like what you said, like with the technology, yes. you know, how it's mm -hmm. easier to get it out there. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. Um, just recording something on your phone, something really easy. Um, just uploading, like Justin Bieber, he was found on YouTube, and Sean Mendes was found on YouTube, stuff like that. Our generations are making it much easier, but since it's a very popular platform to upload your videos to YouTube or Facebook, um, it's more, it's a lot harder to find, to, for somebody to find you. Yeah. So that made, that's made it more complicated, but it's also easy, I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that was all the questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for interviewing me, I appreciate it. Okay. So how's your day going today? It's going pretty good. It's good, it's good. So do you have any social media platforms? Yes, I have several. I primarily use Instagram and Snapchat. That's good. So, how do you think social media was in its youth? From what I understand, um, social media was just a way for people to express themselves, you know, put out things that they like, and find like-minded individuals. Right. Okay. Uh, how do you think social media was portrayed in the beginning? Um, I, from what I understand, it was just a way to connect with other people and maybe it wasn't quite as universalized as it is now. Right. Um, do you think millennials have been a big part of the uprising of social media? Yes, for sure. I think that millennials was probably the generation to begin, um, just like, the to begin social media and using it more as like form of communication and just in everyday life. Okay, uh, is social media run by the youth or older generations and how so? From what I see, I think that social media is definitely run by the youth. Um, as a youth, I use it a lot and same with a lot of my peers and I think that it's more, yeah, I just think it's more about the youth. How would you say past generations have affected social media, like where it is, where it got to today? Well, I think that every generation has had an influence on it, um, just using it more now and just creating it to become as widespread as it is today. Okay, that was, that was all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so my topic was so, uh, music and basically how it has like evolved and changed throughout the past generations. In my opinion, I feel like music really has grown and mainly because like the new stuff that we have today that we didn't have back then, like social media and stuff. Um, like social media helps like, helps like young people or young artists to start off their careers by making it easier for them to like share their songs like to the whole community where, you know, everybody can listen to, you know? Like in today's generations, I feel like it's easier for us to, you know, share our music to the community than it was like back in like the older generations. And I think, you know, that's how like music really has changed overall. Um, and that's my opinion. Uh, but following on that up, do you ask composers bring out music that, that come out from this past decade or new music? Hi, my name is Christian Camarena, and this is my opinion over the pop culture and how everything has changed from one to another and how it just keeps on changing. So therefore, you just gotta keep on going with like the past generations and the idea that like each generation has this new like trends, this new like 
fashion designs, new social media platforms, there's like new technology and everything. So I just have to keep on going with the idea and to understand that each generation is its own generation. And sometimes there will be flashbacks and trends like how like current style and fashion um, is like how Lisa Carmona has stated, um, there's like um, neon bright colors and then so nowadays it's like more like society is like one group, not necessarily like in categories. And to like how Leo has stated before, um, social media has like developed everyone to, to like be like more productive and like more like in the know rather than just like going to like their news station and like listen to the radio and like having to wait for something or just like instant on your phone you just go on social media and you just find like whatever's in or whatever is happening in like Japan, the United States, you know, so it's just like society has changed so much and will continue to change while being like adapted from the past. Hi, my name is Christian. Hi, and I'm Lisa Camarena. Okay. So now, uh, today I brought you here to talk about what kind of like cosmetics and fashion nowadays. So, how do you think things have changed from like modern times and like our fashion, like what kids wear nowadays? Oh, they've changed a lot. I've actually, some of the stuff that has come in has been from the past, but there's trends that I don't really agree with that people kind of pretty much made up. You know, like the goth kind of thing that used to be back in the day that's now called emo and that stuff. It actually came back, but the names have changed. So, what do you think's changed since you were a kid? Like, since like what kind of like fashion trends have like changed and like developed? That have changed is probably more, more of the grunge look. There really wasn't a grunge look. When I was growing up, there was either preppy, uh, rock, or probably new wave, which is like an emo type thing now. Okay, so. What do you mean by like preppy? No, like these like categories. Like what do you like? We used to categorize back in the day. Now it's more like your, your preppy look was more like the jog preppy. It, I mean, there's there's a nerdy look, but <laughs> it's pretty much in the same category. But other than that, there there was a fashion trend all the time. You know, back in the day, it was a Madonna people that dressed like Madonna. You know, there was lace, <laughs> there was Converse with leggings and skirts. There were your preppy people that wore like sweaters with the polos. I mean, we used to layer socks. I mean, that trend hasn't came back. Okay. We used to put like two or three socks together. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking about like flashbacks, um, kids nowadays have brought back certain trends or like things from the 90s, 80s type. Yes, and they have. The Back in the 80s was mainly neon colors. And then of course, big hair bows. Hair bows, denim torn jacket, torn jeans, high tops. I mean, that's pretty much 80s when you think of that. 80s, you think of Madonna. I mean, you think of Michael Jackson. You think of people like that that have like that kind of stuff. Yeah. So what do you think will like, affect the kids now? How do you think it will affect them with this change? Well, honestly, to me, kids should express themselves. I don't think it shouldn't affect it. I think when kids can't express themselves with fashion or anything, they can't, they don't, that's how they speak. When you see somebody, people sometimes judge them but they have there's something they're going through or they're, that's just something they're, that's the person they're speaking out. They can't talk or they're shy. They act, actually act out on the way they dress. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> if you're trying to with pop culture, like how you think, like express themselves. So, you think kids are trying to send a message through their clothing, what they wear? Yes. Sometimes they don't mean to do that, but I think they do. Um, I don't think kids are really trying to do something in a, in a bad way. Like back in the day, you wore red and black, and that was like a gang color type thing. <laughs> now it's more of an expression, it's a fashion statement, and people, I mean, it's not as bad as it was back in the day. So I think when kids do uh, stand out and they're themselves, I don't think any of that should affect anything. As long as they're not out there nude or whatever, but if, as long as they're expressing themselves and they're doing what they're supposed to do, I don't think it should bother anything in education. Okay, so more like an expression type. Um... As a result, what do you think will happen to these kids whenever, like, what will change on from, like, when we ever, we have our own kids? Actually, it's not going to change. Everybody goes through a phase. I went through the Madonna phase. I went through, I mean, you name it. I was a new waiver. I actually tried every, every style. Okay. And I speak. I mean, I, one day I can be a cowgirl. One day I can be a new waiver. One day I can be, like, this fashion diva. I mean, it's, it's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. And I honestly think that people dress how they feel that day. Nobody should judge them for any reason. It's just 
the kids are gonna change and if they know the kids when they get older, they're gonna know they went through that and they're gonna understand what they went through. And it's not a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing as long as you communicate with your kids. Fashion should matter. Well, thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. Good, that should be it. That was good. Very good. I know. I told you I know how to talk. Okay. Well, my name's Christian. I'm Leo from B93. Nice to meet you, Christian. <laughs> okay, so how's your day going? Like, what's up? Oh, it's going good. It's Valentine's Day. We had a great show on the radio, me and Rebecca. Um, we actually had a promotion all week long where we had fellas uh, finish the poem, Violets, <laughs> Roses are Red, Violets are Blue. And they would finish the poem, and, and this morning we actually gave away a really cool Zales pendant, a pendant and um, flowers. So it's been a fun, uh, a fun week so far with Valentine's. Yeah. So going like, how long have you been doing this job? Like, oh man, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it since the '90s here. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> right out of high school, boom, uh, I started doing radio here in, in Midland, Odessa. But uh, no, it's been it's been fun. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Um, so, um, going back to my job and social media, like it's constantly changing. How do you feel about that? Oh, social media is totally always changing. And yeah, you know, the one thing about social media is it's always moving. It's always different. There's always yeah. different things. I'm always surprised by how, how social media moves uh, and how there's always different things to it. So, how do you feel like it's like, going like, how is it constantly changing? How do you feel like it changes like kids my age and like kids like or people in general? Yeah, well, I think, you know, social media is definitely like, for your generation, yeah. social media is like the, the, the newspaper, the, the magazines of, of back yeah. in the day. Social media is your outlet, really. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many different things that you put out there, whether you're having a good day, a bad day, maybe you have a cool painting, or maybe you're, you're, you're maybe you have a song, mm -hmm. you know, even if you have your own music, you can, you don't even need a record company anymore. <laughs> you could just go ahead and put your music out there. So social media is definitely, I think, one of the best outlets uh, that today's generation has. So we like outlets, I think like, that's how we express ourselves, like how like, kids like us, is, like we throw ourselves out there and like, put ourselves out to the world. That's like, how we express ourselves. Oh yeah, I think it's a great expression, you know. Um, when I was your age, um, the only way I would express myself is when I walked to the mall or something. I mean, <laughs> you know, or, or did something at the mall. But, I mean, you all can express yourselves real real easily um, by uh, putting stuff on social media. And, and it's so instant, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, like, going on to, like, how back in the day it was, Jen Allen did, like, how do you think things have changed since then? Like, I know it's, like, a dramatic change. Well, the thing now, the biggest change is everything is now. Everything is instant. Everything is is moving and, and the thing about social media now is uh, it moves so quick really quick I mean before you know it something can be big right now and then something can break tomorrow and then they move on to the next thing uh, someone can be doing the broom challenge two days ago <laughs> yeah. and today it's something new yeah. so that's the thing with today's social media it's quick and it's always moving so how do you feel like as pop culture and like social media as a whole like how has it affected everyone Wow, uh, it has brought us to different things that I would have never expected. Yeah. You know, social media has definitely, uh, I mean, even the president uses yeah. social media. Uh, and so social media has definitely made everybody actually um, like a reporter, almost yeah. like a, a, even a DJ yeah. and stuff. You all have this outlet now and you can put whether it's your own music or, or whether your feelings or, or maybe a poem or something or yeah. art that you've done. Uh, social media is definitely the quickest outlet out there, and it's, I think it's even going to get even crazier. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. it's going to grow. Well, that's, that's about it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Christian, so much, and yeah, thanks for coming down to B93, and uh, big shout out to everybody at New Tech. What's up? <laughs> okay, that's about it. Thank you. That was a lot better. Hello, I'm Nicholas Tops. I have the same questions to Marina Hernandez, the store owner in Abilene. However, due to her location and time, she isn't here, so I'll tell you the questions and her replies. First question. What is it like to own a store? Marina replied, At first it was very challenging, but now it is fun. You get to be the boss, and so you can change the rules. I picked what comes and goes. Question 2. How many changes did you see over the last decade in fashion? She replied, a lot. Fashion is always changing. Every season is different, so it's always something new and fun. Question 3. How did social media influence fashion? She answered, 
and thank the internet in general, influence fashion by allowing you to see the fashion trends throughout the world from your computer or phone. Question 4. Does the internet affect the store? Yes, now you can buy online and get things shipped right to your door. It makes it easier for customers and shops. Final question. How do you see the future of your store? She said, I see it moving more online, like Amazon, but a much more smaller scale, of course. I feel like I can reach more people online. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Leo Hang here with Christian. Yes, sir. Definitely, these are the BNI3 studios. Let me show you the studios real quick. Uh, this is our, this is where BNI3 happens. Uh, these are our uh, pretty much screens, our monitors. This right here is uh, the actual board. It is a digital board. It just slides up and down. Pretty cool. This is where the, this is where the radio happens. Today's back in the day Friday, so we do a little feature like that. But uh, these are our studios. And, uh, you know, we, we love our studios. This is where it happens live. And uh, look at him. He, he, there's our newest DJ right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> So, anyways, uh, Christian, thanks for coming out, man, and uh, everyone at New Tech, what's up, and uh, thanks for hanging out. Yes, sir. Sound good? All right. <laughs>